The gun puts you in the big league. Is that where you want to be? I want to make a phone call. Fine. Let my girlfriend know I'm all right. You're not all right, Liam. You're so far from all right. This is... Shit, if you, if you want to make a call, call a, call a lawyer. That's what I suggest. My father's a lawyer. Can you see? Everything's well. Okay. How is she? Neurosurgeon's pleased with the surgery. Yeah. The bleeding's been controlled. So she's gonna be okay? She's doing as well as can be expected. Well, what does that mean? Well, she's still got a long way to go. All right, well, can I, can I see her? No, she's gone to recovery now. Oh, come on, mate. Quick five minutes. It's not gonna hurt. Do you remember who attacked her? Maybe. It's a little bit early to say. You're on? Well, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. I mean, there's, there's nothing I can do. You should go. We'll call you if there's anything. What do you want to do? Guy's either a drug addict, right, trying to get his hands on some hospital morphine, easy, or he's got a personal grievance against Rick Daniels, the hit-and-run guy from last night. It's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? Connecting assault and hit-and-run? Well, it's either that or the guy is just plain psycho. Look, whoever it is, Irina was just trying to protect her patient, that's all. Eddie, are you okay to work both cases? Yeah, thanks. I'll, I'll let you know, okay? Christy missed Olympic selection by a hundredth of a second. She never got to Atlanta. It was a turning point. Her life went downhill from then on. Treated as a suspicious death until the coroner says otherwise. If you need anything, anything at all. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. If we want to know anything more about Christy, he'd be a uh, good place to start. Who is he? He's a coach, father figure, mentor, all rolled into one. I used to swim the 100 in 101 flat. Pretty good for a 15-year-old. Yeah, hey, didn't know they had a little pool in Bingo. Only when it rains, mate. Only when it rains. Give it up six to eight. Keep it going. Christy used to swim up and down this pool 40, 50 kilometers a week. She had potential. We just want to get an idea of, you know, what she was like, friends. Did you have much contact with her? I had no reason to contact her. Why'd she quit? She choked up. She had the chance to go to the Olympics. Blew it. She missed out by one hundredth of a second off a world record. That is the tragedy. A split second defines the difference between a winner and a loser in this game. Now, see that girl, Lauren? Yeah. She's going to be a champion. Don't yeah, I'm calling about Irina Nedov. She was in recovery. She loses the race, she gets straight back in the pool and trains twice as hard. Yeah. All right, then in that case, I'd like to speak to the doctor, please. Keep that arm going. Keep it up. Chrissy didn't have it. She defined herself by a loss. Got so bad, her mother put her in a clinic. Come on, girls, give it up. Well, can you tell me when he's going to be free? Chrissy was a loser. Come on, girls, back again. This is a recorded interview between Liam Anthony Quinlan and Detective Guy Martin on October the 15th. Time is 12.15. Our present in the room is also... Detective Cameron Smart. Uh, could you please state your full name and date of birth, please? Liam Anthony Quinlan, the 3rd of March, 1980. Liam, Detective uh, Smart and myself are making inquiries into an attempted um, hold-up at the cellar bottle shop. Uh, do you understand that? Yes. Hey, Liam, can you tell us why you went to the bottle shop? I needed money. Well, we all need money from time to time, but we don't shove a gun in someone's face. Just to pay the rent. We're a month behind on rent, and the landlord is threatening to kick us out. Well, couldn't you borrow it? You know, friends, family? 
Oh, we're both in the same business, Sharon. It's not unreasonable to expect a call instead of hearing it secondhand from uniform. Mr. Quinlan would like to see his client. Interview suspended, 12, 12.30. Dr. Miles, you were resident psychiatrist at the Western Clinic until last year. Mm. After your phone call, I went over Christie's file. So why was she committed in the first place? She had severe depression. It was always particularly bad about this time of year. Why is that? Well, the 18th of October is the anniversary of when she missed out on Atlanta. That was six years ago, though. It wouldn't matter if it was 30 years ago. It was her whole life. These coaches, they'll take about 100 kids, you know, 12, 13 years old, and they will pressure them and pressure them, and they don't care if they break 99 of them, so long as they get their one champion. Pity the 99. So Christy was one of the 99. So does suicide fit? Well, last time that she was at the clinic, I rated her chances as 50-50. Yes, can you tell me how she is? What happened? She woke up about half an hour ago. Excellent. Liam, can you tell us where you got the gun that you used in the attempted armed robbery? My client will not answer that question. Liam, you're charged with armed with intent to rob, which carries a maximum penalty of 20 years jail. Are you aware of that? That's an accusation. It's a world of difference between making an accusation and gaining a conviction. Yeah, prepared to gamble your son's freedom, are you, Mr. Quinlan? Liam, listen. You're going to jail. Two years, 20 years, doesn't matter. Jail is a terrible place, mate. Um, I, can't, I can't go to jail. Andrea can't be on her own. Liam, where did you get the gun? Where'd you get the gun, Liam? Look, we've, uh, you've asked that question, we've given our answer. Please move on. Is that the best you can do? You're five grand at the AQC. I could have got that advice from legal aid. Look, I would have loaned you the money. If it had come to me, we could have discussed it. You don't get it, do you? You just don't get it. Yeah, well, you don't get it. You can throw your life away on this girl. Yeah, no, of course you don't get it, because your priorities are fucked up. My priority is put a roof over your head, which is more than you seem capable of. Oh, get out! Get out. Get out. Get out! Piss off! Get out! Please get out of your not one here. Mr. Quinn? The boy can't handle this on his own. The boy's a man. If he doesn't want a lawyer, he doesn't have to have one. Are you sure this is how you want to do this? You're facing a serious charge. I got the gun from him. Your father? I went to his house and I took it from his safe. Why would a barrister have an unlicensed handgun in his safe? Got it from a client? He's got some pretty notorious clients. Well, how much would you have to pay someone to look after it? Well, heaps, but, you know, if it's stolen cash, what do you care? So you think the boy's telling the truth? Oh, I don't know. I like him. Don't say anything to Quinlan. Stall him till we get ballistics on the weapon. Have you heard from Eddie? Nick, okay? Yeah, he's with his father. Thank you. The person who attacked you. Did you see them? Did you get a look? I'm sorry. I can't remember. It's okay. He'll come. You're okay. It's the main thing. That's all that matters. A nurse was very nearly killed trying to protect you from this man. Yeah, I know. 